Hi, my name is Ophir Gabay, bringing you another QuickBooks Online tutorial. And today I wanted to discuss how to record a vendor refund uh, that's getting deposited into your account. So uh, just to set this up for you, I'm using a sample QuickBooks Online company file. I created this vendor called Supplier Issuing a Refund. And um, like, I, like I mentioned, we're going to be recording. I'm going to be showing you how to, to correctly record a refund that a vendor is issuing you for goods that you're returning um, or any other discount that they're giving you and they're issuing a refund for. The, how I set this up right now is we have this vendor and there's a bill outstanding um, actually there's a bill that was paid so there's currently a zero balance with this vendor and the bill was for uh, 25 widgets that we purchased from this vendor at $20 a piece, uh, totaling $500. Additionally, if we look at our bank feeds, you'll notice that there's a $200 deposit that was deposited on the 29th of November. So there's a $200 deposit made on the 29th of November. We're going to treat this $200 deposit as the refund from our vendor. So let's get into it. We'll go back into our vendor screen because I want to show you step by step uh, the correct way of doing this. And our next step in the process is let's assume we contacted the vendor and we want to return 10 widgets. Uh, because they were defective or for whatever reason we want to return them to the vendor and they're going to issue us um, a $200 refund. So the first step would be to create a vendor credit. There's a couple of ways of getting into the vendor credit screen. Uh, the first would be uh, through the vendor once we're in this vendor um, details view um, we could just click on new transaction vendor credit um, or we could press the, the plus icon at the top of the screen the, qu the quick create icon and under the vendor column you'll see vendor credit uh, both ways take you to the same place so um, let's just do it this way okay and the first step would be to choose the vendor and our ours was called supplier issuing a refund and let's assume that the date was 1120 and the reference number is 123 uh, the next step would be to select what items you're returning or if it was the the case that you um, you use this vendor for an expense such as um, you know uh, printing and you weren't happy with the prints and they were issuing you a credit then you would just uh, choose the expense account that you used uh, for the bill but um, in this in this case we are using items so we want to go into our and select the items that we're returning we're returning widgets and we said we're going to return 10 of them and they cost us $20 a piece totaling $200 so let's um, just recap it's a vendor credit that we're issuing uh, that we're recording uh, you select the vendor the date uh, the reference number if they give you one and the items that you're returning alright so let's save and close this and then looking at the vendor the same vendor that they should issued the refund you'll see that now we currently have a negative two hundred dollar balance with this vendor so I'm just gonna turn on the status so you can see this a little bit more clear okay so we have a vendor credit for two hundred dollars that means the vendor owes us two hundred dollars and usually uh, if you have an, an open balance with the vendor, you, they could offset that balance with the credit. Um, but since we didn't have an op open balance, 
usually this will get resolved in the vendor issuing us um, cash back or you know, whatever um, a, a credit to the payment method that we used so uh, the next step would be to record that that payment that we received from the vendor so to do that we want to go into the quick create menu and under the other column you'll see bank deposit you want to click that and we're going to be recording the deposit that we received from our vendor so it was deposited into the checking account you have to make sure that you, you select the right account that it's getting deposited into if you have multiple bank accounts and then under the add new deposits section you want to indicate who you're receiving the, the, the funds from and it's from uh, our vendor supplier issuing a refund and the account that you want to use is accounts payable this is uh, an important step so make sure that you're selecting accounts payable not accounts receivable um, accounts payable and then the amount of the refund so in this case it was two hundred dollars you'll also want to make sure that you're dating this correctly um, and let's assume that it was the 29th of November and now we save and close that and now we have successfully recorded the vendor refund and if we go back into our banking screen into our bank feeds and into the checking account you'll see that the $200 uh, deposit is now matched with uh, the payee which is our vendor uh, that issued us the refund so we simply from this screen we just simply just click match and that's all um, that's recording the refund from the vendor if we go back into our vendor detail page you'll see that we currently have a zero balance with this vendor um, and you can see the transactions here first we had the bill for five hundred dollars we paid that bill in full and then we talked with the vendor we we and they issued us a refund of two hundred dollars which is broken down into two transactions first the vendor credit and then the deposit into the bank account then the last step in uh, recording the refund from the vendor is to close out the vendor credit and you do that um, by going into your pay bills because as of right now you'll see that we have an open bill uh, created when we made that deposit so if we click open bills from our vendor screen you'll see that we have one open item and that's for that deposit that the vendor made so uh, to pay that to clear that out you just click the quick create icon and go into your pay bills screen and you'll see the the two hundred dollars uh, refund and there's going to be a credit applied to it of two hundred dollars so you just click that um, and the payment amount should be zero because you're depositing the same amount as the credit so you click save save and close and now if we return into our vendor screen you'll see that the bill payment was created and and there's currently no open transaction for that for this vendor if we go back into our open bills you'll see that there's only five bills that are open now and none of them are from our vendor all right i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions please feel free to email me at accounting at first if you have any comments you can leave them in the comment section below also uh, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you found this video helpful 
also you could subscribe to the channel if you want to receive any future notifications of any videos that we produce all right um i hope you enjoy the video again and thank you for watching